Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, dear representatives of Georgian authorities, NGO community, thank you very much for attending this very important conference and contributing to this very important task which Georgia faces. But I want to greet one particular person in this hall. And this is Chairman of the Supreme Court of Georgia, Mr. Gublashvili. And why he deserves this special greeting? Because he is the probably only person who represents Georgian authorities now and who represented them one year ago on the conference. This is marking very well what is the change Georgia went through during this one year. And exactly one year ago, during this conference, the representatives of different political group, different political team, we are talking about the issues and they were trying to bring this country closer to Europe. In those days, it was difficult for many friends of Georgia from the international community to imagine that there could be such a dramatic change in Georgia after the parliamentary elections and the representatives of the new government will be taking floors here and would be talking in the same direction trying to speed up this process to make the work of the government even more efficient in order to achieve the standards which we set for ourselves. I believe this is great achievement of Georgian people, Georgian nation. This is great achievement of the political class of Georgia and we need to underline that and we need to make it even more sustainable. Probably this is the best proof that Georgia deserves to become part of the wider Europe. The new government, which took the responsibility after the October elections, did not waste much time and continued the process of negotiations which are now completed and we see that we are ready for concluding relevant documents during the Vilnius summit but we have to go through some important process from now until the end of this year. I share completely the words of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, that it is shameful to talk about the tests during the elections. The elections and political freedoms much must become just everyday business for a democratic country. But unfortunately, Georgia still needs to prove that. We all are mentioning the previous parliamentary elections as free and fair elections. But we all remember that probably that was not the case during the electoral campaign. Therefore, it is important to prove that the change means change in many directions. And these presidential elections and these, these months are going to be important for everybody, for the government, for the opposition parties and for our citizens. And it's very good coincidence that after the presidential elections, many of us will gather in Vilnius and make the important decisions. When we are talking about the Georgia's way to Europe, we should not forget one important thing. When this journey started, historians may have their opinion about that. Politicians will probably tie the start point of this journey to their own political success or their political life. 
But I believe the truth is that this way was started in 1921, when Republic of Georgia, Independent Republic of Georgia, and its parliament adopted the Constitution of Georgia. And those of you who are familiar with that constitution of independent Georgia would agree that that was the constitution of a European country. And that happened almost 100 years ago. That was the constitution which was based on the European values. That was the constitution which was establishing equality of men and women against the law. That was the constitution which gave women the right to vote and to be elected. And you, you know, that was not the case in most part of the Europe in those years. That was the constitution when, the constitution which abolished the death penalty which was, again, the values which were only coming to European uh, countries. That was the constitution which was based on true separation of powers and checks and balances between different branches of the government, and so on and so on. I believe the journey to Europe the uh, journey with understanding what Europe means and what Georgia wants started exactly in those days. And that was the result, of course, of the undeniable fact that Georgian political thinkers were taking European values as the standards, as the objectives, and they tried to achieve them. Unfortunately, the following 70 years, we spent somewhere else, and our application was kept without consideration by European countries. But now I believe it is the time to end the discussion whether Georgia is Europe or not. We understand the political environment and complexity of certain issues and debates over the phrases how to put this in the text of different documents. We understand that. And we have enough patience and we understand that many European countries need probably more time in order to realize that yes, this is Europe, integral part of Europe not just neighbors of Europe, but integral part of Europe. But I believe we need to do a better job to demonstrate that to everybody. And in that regard, we need to demonstrate that we have learned lessons from our immediate past. And when the question is asked how much we should look to the past and how much we should look to the future, that's the, the, the answer on that is very easy. We need to look to the past only in order to get better lessons and not only in order to stay there and then to try to rewrite the past or restore the things which happened in not a right direction. And we've got enough lessons. Now we know that monopoly on truth, authoritarian style of governance, subordination of media, business, other institutions, which must be free, is leading to failure of any government. It does not matter how enthusiastic and how motivated that government was in other directions. And we should not repeat that. And we know what is the, what is the best tool for that, the rule of law and putting the process, decision-making within the frames of the law. We know that for that, independence of judiciary is so important. Therefore, we need to make the judiciary independent. We know that for that, debates are necessary. Therefore, we need to have such debates in the parliament. 
Well, at the moment when I'm making this speech here, my colleagues now are working in parliament in Kutaisi. And there's very heated debates. The law on higher education, uh, the amendments to the higher education law is concerned. And I know some uh, citizens are very angry. You are losing so many time on this one small issue and it's already the third day when the debates are going on. But we need to realize and understand that it is better to debate in the parliament for three days, for four days, I don't know, and have political process seated inside the parliament. If we don't allow that, the process will be heated outside of the parliament with the obvious consequences. Therefore, the political pluralism and multi-party democracy is essential part of our journey to Europe. Without that, no leader can ensure that the country ends uh, this journey with, with success. So, what is left is to, to do what we need is necessary to do. And we have all the support from our friends, and we heard uh, the statements of uh, representatives of uh, different countries that Europe is ready to help us, but we need to be ready to be helped as well, and to, to be open for that. And we, we, we should tell to our friends that we are much ready for this cooperation than it used to be in the previous years. We are less arrogant, I would say this very openly. We know that we do not know all the things we should know. Therefore, we are open for the process of uh, suggestions, recommendations, and we are not going to teach lessons to Europe, how much it should be regulated or deregulated. Of course we have our opinions, of course we should express our opinions on that, but probably it's better first to become part of the Europe and then take those issues as seriously as it, as it was taken before. Let me once again congratulate for this uh, important uh, benchmark. People who are here, we are all traveling in that way. And we are all passengers of this big process. And I want to wish all the success to Europe, to Europeans, and therefore Georgians. Thank you.